Assalamualaikum. I am Nadeem Ashraf Aban from Concepts College of Sciences. Today's topic is the conditional sentences. And uh, today we are going to deal with the first conditional only. The first conditional sentence uh, uh, refers to the possible future actions. Example of that, if I go out, I will buy a newspaper. When we say, if I go out, I want to say, when I say that, I want to say that, well, there is a possibility of my going out and uh, consequently buying a newspaper. The first conditional may also be used for something which is possibly true in the present. Look at an example of that. If you are hungry, I will make you something to eat. The first part, the conditional part, if you are hungry, that refers to the possibility of your being hungry now. So that refers to something which is possibly true in the present. So this is the basic use of the first conditional. Let's have uh, some more examples and uh, look at the structure of uh, the first conditionals. If you hurry, you will catch the train. Now um, pay more attention to the uh, grammatical structure of the first conditional. You can see the underlying words. Um, the verb in the if clause is in the present tense. It's not in the future tense. Uh, generally, our students, they tend to uh, do it this way. If you will hurry, you will catch the train, which is entirely incorrect. So you should not use the future in the if clause. The future tense will be used in the main clause of the sentence. And that is you will catch the train. So remember one thing, the if clause will be in the present tense and uh, you may use the future tense in the main clause of the sentence. So if you hurry, you will catch the train. Look at the second sentence, second example, if it does not rain, we shall play the match. Again, if clause in the simple present tense. We should not be using the uh, future tense here. If it will not rain is wrong. So if it doesn't rain, we shall play the match. Shall play is the future form of the verb which is used in the main clause. Another example, if you don't pay attention, you will not learn anything. Again, uh, the present form of the verb, the simple present form of the verb in the main clause and future, uh, uh, sorry, uh, simple present in the if clause and future uh, in the main clause of the verb. That is what you need to do. This is the structure of the first conditional. Now, sometimes we may use uh, the future form of the verb in the if clause also, and that is when we are making a request. Look at this sentence. If you will just wait a moment, I will get you a drink. Now, you can notice that uh, we are using the future form will wait in the if clause. Now, the meaning of this sentence or this part of the sentence, if you will just wait a moment is, please wait a moment. And that is obviously a request. So in the cases of uh, requests, we can use a will or the future form in the if clause as well. Generally, we use the uh, simple present in the if clause, but we may sometimes use the present continuous or present perfect uh, also. Examples, if they are expecting guests, they will need something for the tea. If you have finished your work, you can play with your friends. So in these sentences, we are using uh, the present continuous and the present perfect forms of the verb uh, respectively. In the main clause, we generally use well, but we may use other uh, modal auxiliaries as well, like can, like could. Like, wo, uh, like should or may and might and so on. Look at these examples. If you have a computer, you can work from home. And you, if you exercise regularly, you may lose weight or you might lose weight. So this may also be used. The first condition is also used to make offers. If you need money, I can give you some. Here we are offering somebody money. If you're in a hurry, take my car. So I'm offering somebody to take my car. And for this kind of an offer, I can also use the first conditional. It can also be used the same structure that, that is the first conditional for making suggestions. 
if you're free we can watch a movie a suggestion is given over here if they feel like it they can go on a tour again a suggestion is given to them the first conditional may also be used for warnings or threats now study these examples if you go on wasting your time you will fail this is a warning and if he doesn't apologize I will not forgive him consider it a threat Before we finish uh, with the first conditional, let us also talk about the zero conditional. The zero conditional is when uh, we use the present form of the verb in both the clauses of the sentence. And that is uh, when, um, uh, when one thing always follows automatically from another or uh, we use it when, when we are talking about scientific facts or the natural results of certain actions. Example, if you heat water, it boils. So that is the natural consequence of heating water. It always happens this way. If you press this switch, the light goes off. So that will be the obvious uh, consequence of pressing that particular switch. And if you don't work hard, you fail. That is the obvious um, consequence of not working hard. Uh, anybody who doesn't work hard must fail. So this was a zero conditional, which is a slight variation of the first conditional as well. Um, I hope that you have understood the first conditional and uh, with that the zero conditional. In the next episode, we are going to deal with the second conditional, inshallah. Wait for that.